Hey, this is Henry. I am here to talk about how Minute Earth videos get made. We are a truly internet-based uh, production company. We have, at times, spanned eight time zones. So we communicate using tools like Slack and Dropbox and Google Hangouts and a bunch of other things for file sharing and working together and collaborating on a creative project across the world. Minute Earth videos begin as an idea or a uh, pitch from somebody, one of our writers, who is excited about something and wants to share it and they tell the rest of us about it and we ask questions and get normally all so excited about it. They go off and learn more about it and do research and come back with the draft. In the research process, writers will either read books or scientific papers to learn about the material themselves or they'll talk to researchers to find out what's kind of the newest thing in the field or try to really get a better sense of understanding of the subject. So then we have an iterative process of revisions and drafts and revisions and drafts that sometimes involves conversations between an editor uh, and the writer or feedback from the entire team. Then at the end we do a little bit of tidying up of the writing and it goes off to the narrator and they narrate the video. Then we send the audio to Ever who does the audio editing and so he'll cut the narration down from a bunch of takes, often with mistakes, into something that sounds good and is part of the video. And we must not forget that at this point we also add music to the video as well. Then we go into storyboarding where the illustrator for the video will do kind of really rough sketches for what is going to happen in each scene of the video. We will have several iterations of video storyboards where we're trying to get feedback from everyone and the writer in particular, but also everyone on the team as to how we can best visually convey the material we're talking about. Only once we've zeroed in on where we're going with the storyboard do we then have the illustrator do the final fancy looking drawings. We invariably have multiple revisions at that stage as well, but because the final drawings take more time, we try to get as close to the ideal video as possible in the storyboard stage so we don't have to spend as much time doing the illustrations and changing illustrations that we already spent lots of time doing. Finally, once the video is done, we will post it online, uh, places like Vessel and YouTube, so that you can watch it which is, I assume, where you're watching this video. This might sound like a long and convoluted process, but it's made extra complicated by the fact that we are actually doing this in parallel for up to eight videos at a time. Some are in stages of writing, some are in stages of storyboarding and illustration, so that we can have videos ready to go at more regular intervals. Hopefully you've enjoyed that little behind-the-scenes look at how Minute Earth is made. Have a good one. Hey, Henry again, just one more thing. On behalf of the whole Minute Earth team, I'd like to extend a huge thank you to everyone who supports us on Patreon. You all play an integral part in how we fund Minute Earth, and we're indebted to you for allowing us to pursue our passion, making videos about the world around us, and for helping us make them freely available for everyone to watch. If you'd like to become a Patreon supporter, or if you don't know what this Patreon thing is, you can find out more at patreon.com slash Thanks.